What's going on everybody? Today I'm doing a quick video to show you how to take the Wraith Prism Cooler that comes with pretty much any uh, second and third gen Ryzen chips and how to get color like that with the Mirage effect. Alright guys, I'm sitting here messing with the uh, Wraith Prism Cooler that came with my 3700X that I just upgraded to from my 1700. 1700 came with the uh, Wraith Spire, I think. It just had the LED ring around it. And uh, when I got this, I kind of dug the prism, but I planned on going with a liquid cooler just in case I overclocked a little bit, blah, blah, blah. I want to keep the CPU as cool as possible. But uh, after using the 3700X, I haven't really had a reason to OC it yet. So I figured I'd save a little bit of money, not get an AIO, and stick with the prism. But uh, I've posted a couple videos on, or just showing the different effects that I've pulled off with the uh, Mirage effect on the fan itself. And several people had asked how it's done. They want to see my uh, fan lighting profiles and all that good stuff. So I figured the easiest thing to do would be able to just make a quick video and show you guys how you can kind of mess with the uh, Mirage effect. So you can kind of see my settings right here. I have the light on, obviously, you turn it off, you got nothing. I don't know what I just did. Anyways, all kind of funkiness going on over there. Color cycle, here we go. All right, so right now I have it set to a color cycle and I have my RGB speed sliders. These right here are your speed sliders. That's how fast the, the uh, LEDs flash to project the light onto the fan and you can adjust each one, the red, green, and blue LEDs for however you want to do it. For the sake of demonstration, I'm going to show you all kind of how it works and how you can play with this. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn static color on. So now we have our RGB. So we got our color sliders up here and our speed sliders. Just to kind of see what happens here, we're going to turn our red all the way down, green all the way down, blue to zero, turn everything all the way down. So now you got 45 hertz, that's the lowest you can go. 2000 is the highest. And the further you move the slider up, the faster the uh, LED for that particular color is gonna flash onto the fan blade. So to kind of start tweaking your own here, what you wanna do is you take your red, turn your red RGB slider on the top all the way up. Now you're gonna have pretty much a solid color on your uh, fan. Now this is where you start messing with how you can kind of freeze frame your fan blades. So you're gonna take your R, your red slider, and slowly move it up, and you'll see the uh, fan kind of start freezing, it'll speed up, slow down, different effects. I find that right around 340 is where I get the best effect. But I mean, you can go up, slide it, you can get where it looks like more fan blades there. It's a little bit more motion blur to it right there it looks like a lot of blades but they're kind of frozen I tend to run mine right here around 340 341 to fine-tune this you're gonna have to go in and manually type in the number and then click outside of the box and that's roughly where I get the freeze frame now another important thing is with your fan speed if you have a fan curve when your fan speeds up and slows down it's gonna make all kinds of crazy it's gonna change the way the fan looks so I actually run mine on full speed. I got it on full. It doesn't stay on a lot. I don't, it, I don't even know if it hurts it. I'm not a computer person. I'm not that literate with all this. But for the sake of lighting, I turn mine all the way up. So I got a steady span speed so I can kind of tweak the lighting as I'd like to. So right here we have the red turned all the way up color wise. We have the fans, the light speed at 341 hertz. Now we can turn our green light on. Now you can mess with the, this kind of affects the brightness here more so than anything, color mixing, when you isolate them. But you can see here, the more you turn this up, the brighter it gets. We're going to turn it just a little bit down around 225, 226. And then we're going to come down to the green speed slider and start moving this one up. So you can kind of start seeing you get that green fan blade effect. And we're going to put this one, well, let's slide it all the way up, see what happens. You can kind of get it, come on, right there. So now you got kind of a, I don't even know what that looks like. It's almost 3D looking. But you can see there's a lot more green fan blades and only a 
handful of red looking fan blades but we're gonna put this down and I'm gonna put it just a little bit off we're gonna put it like 342 like one Hertz off of the other one and now you get kind of a blending same number of fans just moving a little bit of a different speed it's a neat effect and if you want to mess with the brightness of it to make the green stand out more you can pull the green up and move your red down a little bit to darken it to where it's just a faint effect and as you mess with these you're gonna find different colors you like different uh, settings you like whatnot so now we're gonna put the blue up go right around two, 224 is good so once again you see the solid blue in the background we're gonna slide it up put it right around we're gonna go 343 with the blue oh, gotta click in here first 343 with the blue and now you can kind of see the blue moving separately from the green and the red so when you have all three of these at a slightly different speed you're gonna see a little bit of a different a variation between the three colors if you put them all or let's put two of them at the same speed let's put green at 343 and let's put red and blue at 341 and now you're gonna see sometimes they'll sync up where the blue and the red will be together and they'll make a pink color sometimes they'll stay separated like this at, I don't know depends on the fan speed I guess but uh that's kind of how you start to separate and get the mirage effect now if you go ahead and instead of doing a static color you hit color cycle it'll cycle through and as it hits the different colors of the spectrum it's gonna make some kind of funky looking effects and you can mess with all your speeds to kind of get different things going on we'll turn the green all the way up and you'll kind of see when green takes over you're gonna have a solid color and as it kind of fades out it's gonna blend in and make the different color profiles but that's pretty much how you do it. however you want to do this you go in and just mess with your own settings till you get something that matches your build and uh that's it all right guys thanks for watching i hope that helps you out with the lighting effects on the uh old wraith prism and uh we'll see you next time y'all take it easy